la 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 la. Oh, hi there. I was hoping you'd come. Say hello, peepers. Well, you know, we're so excited because we're getting ready for Christmas. That's right. I have my drum right here. Peepers, you have your trumpet? Okay. And we're going to start marching, and you can march along with us. Ready? Get up. Here we go. Blow that trumpet and beat that drum. Set all the bells in the steeple ringing. Blow that trumpet and beat that drum. Tell the world that the Lord has come. Don't stop now. Keep going, okay? Blow the trumpet and beat that drum. Set all the bells in the steeple ringing. Blow the trumpet and beat that drum. Set, oh, peepers, are you okay? Peepers, what's wrong? Oh, Uncle Jim, oh. I got tangled up in this tinsel. Oh, sorry, Peepers. You feel better? Oh, thank you, Uncle Jim. You're welcome. Oh, Uncle Jim, look. The tree. Oh, yes, it looks so nice. Doesn't it, Peepers? Oh, yes. Can we plug in the lights now, Uncle Jim? Can we plug in the lights? Well, I'll tell you what, Peepers. I was saving that for later. You know why? Why? Because these are very special lights. Oh, special lights. That's right. Well, Christmas is a very special time, Peepers. Do you know why Christmas is so special? Oh, 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 I know, I know. Presents. We get presents. That's right. We get presents and we give presents. But Peepers, come here. There's something else. Something else. Oh, yeah. We go Christmas caroling. We three kings of Orient. Oh, oh, yes. And, uh, and we visit relatives and friends, and we eat uh, cookies, and we eat cakes, and all sorts of fun things, oh, right? Yes. Oh, but you know yes. what, Peepers? Come here. There's still something else. Something else? Oh, so presents? Uh, 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 food? Uh, presents? Nope. There's okay. nothing else. I'll give you a little hint. Come here. Christmas is someone's birthday. Someone's birthday? Yes. Oh, of course. It's my friend Arfie's birthday. He was born in December. Well, yes, but you know, it's someone else's birthday as well. Do you know whose special birthday we celebrate at Christmas time? That's right. It's the birthday of Jesus. Oh, oh, I knew that. I forgot. Well, I know it's easy to forget sometimes, peepers. That's why I put a special manger scene over there on the other side of the attic. You want to go see it? Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Let's go, boy. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Good dog. Good, Peepers. Good. Good. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it, Peepers? You see, this is the stable where Jesus was born. Oh, and look. There's a camel. Yes, right over here. And the wise men. And here's Joseph. And here's Mary. And you see these people here? These are shepherds that came to visit Jesus on the night that he was born. Oh. And this, peepers, this is baby Jesus, the newborn king.
Hey, peepers, I have an idea. Why don't we dress up like shepherds? Oh, goody. I like getting dressed up. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, peepers, after you. Okay. Oh, look! Look! Oh, we're shepherds! Hey, Peepers, you look great! And you look good, too, Uncle Jim. Thank you, Peepers. Uncle Jim? Yes? How come Jesus was born in an old building where animals are kept? How come he wasn't born in a hospital? Well, Peepers, in order to answer that question, you would need to know the story of Christmas. Oh. You see, that happened many, many years ago. About 2,000 years ago. 2,000 years ago? Yes. And in those days, Peepers, they didn't have any airplanes. No airplanes? Or cars. No cars? Or even hospitals. Oh. I never knew that. Well, I'll tell you what, Peepers. Why don't we go over to the story chest and see what we can find out? Okay. Okay? Let's go. You can come with us. Come on, Peepers. Ready? Okay. I'm ready. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Mary. She lived in a town called Nazareth. Mary was soon to be married to a poor carpenter named Joseph. One night, the angel Gabriel came to visit her. Mary woke up when her room filled with a wonderful light. What is happening? asked Mary in surprise. Don't be afraid, Mary, the angel Gabriel said. I came to tell you that you are going to be the mother of God's son. His name will be Jesus. The angel's words made Mary very happy. She knew that God was blessing her. Several months later, Caesar Augustus, the great Roman king, told everyone that they must return to the place where their family had come from to pay taxes. This meant that Mary and Joseph had to go to Bethlehem. It was a long trip, and Mary was soon to have her baby. When they arrived in Bethlehem, they looked and looked for a place to stay, but there were so many people that every place was full. Joseph prayed, Dear God, please help us find a place to stay. Finally, they knocked at the door of an old inn. I'm sorry, said the innkeeper gruffly. Everyone is here to pay their taxes, and the, the inn is full. There's no room here. But look, pleaded Joseph. We have traveled all the way from Nazareth, and my wife is about to have a baby. We must find a place. The innkeeper thought for a moment. Well, maybe I could help you, he said. You see, I have a stable down the road. It's nothing fancy, but you can stay there if you'd like. Joseph and Mary were very grateful. It was certainly an unusual place to have a baby, but they were very thankful to God for providing it. That very night, a little boy was born to Mary. She wrapped him in blankets to keep him warm and laid him in a manger. A manger is a kind of box that farmers put hay in to feed the animals, and that was the first bed that Jesus had. At the same time, out on the hillside, some shepherds were watching their sheep. Suddenly, the sky was filled with beautiful light, and an angel of the Lord appeared, saying, Glory to God in the highest! Peace on earth to men of good will! At first, the shepherds were afraid and, and wondered what was happening. But then the angel told them, Don't be afraid, for today a Savior, Christ the Lord, is born in Bethlehem. 
You shall find him in a stable, lying in a manger. Suddenly the sky was filled with a great host of angels rejoicing and singing, Glory to God in the highest! So the shepherds left their sheep on the hillside and went down to Bethlehem where they found the stable and the manger, that rough little bed, just as the angels had told them. Joseph invited them in to look at the beautiful little newborn baby boy. What's his name? asked the little boy shepherd. His name is Jesus, Mary replied. And that's the story of the very first Christmas when God sent us Jesus, his son. That was a wonderful, wonderful story, Uncle Jim. And did you know, Peepers, that after that, Jesus spent his whole lifetime doing good and helping others? Uh Uh-oh. What? That reminds me. I need to finish the Christmas card I'm making for Bunny Big Word. May I be excused, Uncle Jim? Well, that sounds like a good idea, Peepers. Bye-bye. You know, that's what Christmas is really all about. Helping others and being kind and unselfish. And selfish, that's a big word. That sounds like Bunny Big Word. And selfish, that's a big word. Hi, Bunny Big Word. Oh, hi, Uncle Jim. Hello. Uncle Jim, that's a pretty big word. Do you know what it means? Why don't you tell us, Bunny? Oh, right, I think I will. Well, right here. Unselfishness means trying to make others happy and not worrying so much about yourself. Oh, thank you, Bunny. Mm, my oh, pleasure. Bunny, yes? uh, you're wearing an apron and, and a chef's hat. Oh, hey, what are you doing back there anyway? Uh, 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 Uncle Jim, oh, shh. It's a secret. Oh, a secret? Yes, you see, I'm making a cake for peepers. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's really going to appreciate that. Oh, well, I certainly hope so. <laughs> well, Uncle Jim, uh-huh. you'll have to excuse me. I'm quite busy. I do need to get this finished. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Well, now we know what unselfishness means. Let's see. We can be unselfish by sharing our toys with our brothers or sisters or friends. Or by being real quiet around the house when someone's sleeping. Oh, there's so many ways to be unselfish. Uh, see if you could think of some. Oh, that sounds like peepers. We better go see what's wrong. Come on. Peepers! What's wrong, peepers? Oh, Uncle Jim. Yes? I'm trying to finish this Christmas card for Bunny Big Bird. Nice. But I just can't seem to draw anything. <laughs> oh, peepers, don't worry. You know what? I can show you how to draw an angel. Oh, that sounds like fun. You want to learn? Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. You got your pencil? I've got my pencil. Okay, let's start. What's this, peepers? Oh, that's the head. That's right. And next, we make the gown. Something like a bell, almost. See? And then the arms outstretched, just like in that song we saw. All right? And then we have the eyes and a nice smile, because angels are always smiling, right, Peepers? Oh, yes. Now, what's missing, Peepers? Oh, the wings. The wings, that's right. Okay, one and two and a halo. Oh, that's nice, Uncle Jim. It Thank looks you. like one of the angels that sang the night Jesus was born. That's right, Peepers. I'll tell you what, why don't you sit here and finish the card for Bunny Big Word, and in the meantime... We can watch this song. Oh, okay. 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 Safely to Bethlehem town. I said the donkey shaggy and brown. I said the cow all white and red. I gave him my manger for a bed. I gave him my hay to pillow his. 
his head. I said the cow, all white and red. Jesus, our Savior, kind and good, was born in a manger of straw and wood, and friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our Savior, kind and good. I said the sheep with the pearly horns. I gave him my wool for a blanket warm. He wore my coat on Christmas morn. I said the sheep with the pearly horns. <laughs> I said the dove from the rafters high. I cooed him to sleep so he would not cry. He cooed him to sleep, my mate and I. I said the dove from the rafters high. Jesus, our Savior, kind and good, was born in a manger of straw and wood, and the friendly beasts around him stood. Jesus, our Savior, kind and good. Jesus, our Savior, kind and good. Jesus, our Savior, kind and good. Peepers! Oh, Uncle Jim. Peepers, I got the presents that we got for our friends, and it's time to put them underneath the Christmas tree. Oh, this is my favorite part. Ready? Good. I like seeing who each present is for. Well, that way you can help. Look, here's one. Oh, that one's for Arfie. That's right. And another one? <laughs> oh, oh, that one's for Snowflake. And how about this one? Last one. Oh, that one's for Bunny Big Word. That's right. And that about does it. Ooh. Oh, Uncle Jim. Yes? One present is missing. Uh, one, two... No, I don't think so. Papers are all there. Well, then, I don't understand. What don't you understand? Papers? I thought Christmas was the birthday of Jesus. It is. Well, where is his present, then? Don't you usually give people presents when it's their birthday? Peepers has a point, doesn't he? If it's the birthday of Jesus, then we should give him a present, too. Oh, yes. But what can we get him? Mm. Oh, I don't know. Oh, if only those little people in the manger seemed to talk. They could tell us what Jesus would like for his birthday. What can I give him, as small as I am? If I were a shepherd, I'd give him a lamb. If I were a wise man, I'd do my part. I know what I'll give him. I'll give him my heart. Boy, that was amazing. Uncle Jim, what does that mean? I'll give him my heart. Well, Peepers, it means that we love Jesus and we want to do things to make him happy. And we make Jesus very happy when we do things to make other people happy. Oh, I want to make other people happy too. Well, I'm proud of you, Peepers. Peepers! Peepers! Oh, that's Bunny Big Word. Let me go see what he wants. Oh, okay. Oh, hi, Bunny Big Word. Oh, uh, hello, Peepers. Hey, Peepers. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hi, Uncle Jim. Uh, is anything wrong here? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Uncle Jim. Yes? We have a surprise for you. <laughs> for me? Oh, yes. So cover your eyes and count to five. Oh, right now? Right now. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uncle Jim! Oh. Uncle Jim! Come on over! Over there? Okay. See the present oh, Peepers got for you. Is this it? Yes. <laughs> it's so big. Oh, but, uh, where's Peepers? Oh, well, he said he'll be back in a minute, but he wanted you to go ahead and open it up. Right now? Yes. <laughs> So excited. So big. Look at that nice bow. I wonder what's in there. 
Oh! Surprise! Lovers. <laughs> what are you doing in there? I want to give you me for Christmas. Oh, Peepers, that's a wonderful present. And I promise to be a good pet this year and obey and be clean and tidy and make you as happy as I can. Oh, thank you, Peepers. Oh, uh, uh, Uncle Jim, yes? I got you a present too. Oh, really? Yes, here it is. Oh. Let's see what. Ta-da! Oh, what's that? I will set the table. I'll help water the plants. I'll make my bed. I'll help you brush peepers. Uh, funny, what is this? Well, these are all the things I want to help you with this year. <laughs> oh, you know, you both have given me terrific presents. Thank you. Aren't those good ideas for Christmas? And you know, you can give presents like that, too. By being kind and helpful and cheerful and obedient children, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, Bunny. Yes? I have something for you. Oh, really? Merry Christmas. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you draw that yourself, Peepers? Oh, yes. Uncle Jim showed me how. You did a beautiful job, Peepers. Oh, thank yes. you. Yes, thank you. Oh, uh, Peepers, I've got a present for you, too. Oh, you do? Yes. Can you help me, Uncle Jim? Oh, it's of course, heavy. Buddy. <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Oh, oh what could it be? Oh, oh, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Oh, look. It's a nice, yummy cake. Oh, it looks so good. I could eat it right now in one big bite. Oh, well, why don't we all have some cake? Oh, thank you, Peepers. Peepers. This is such a beautiful cake. Oh, we can have a birthday party for Jesus. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, but first... Remember those lights I was telling you about? Oh, the special lights. Oh, yeah. Well, watch this. Oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. You know, we can sing Happy Birthday to Jesus. Ready? Ready. Yes. Okay. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. This is such a fun Christmas party. Yeah. Let's watch another Christmas song. Oh, okay. yes. People were going about their own way. No one noticed at all. Except a few shepherds and three wise men who came to the manger stall. There in the stable, the baby so sweet was held in his mother's arms. And high in the sky, a big star shone so bright, and angels sang this song. Savior, my King. 
He's our friend forever. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.